And I need to tell a story now. I okay. need to talk <laughs> about my adventures yesterday. And um, my adventures at Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday. Uh-oh. David, you know that I was... We were in here trying to find a Bed Bath & Beyond. Yes. And we were doing that because... Yesterday, even in the rain, I had a little bit of time, a little more time than I usually have between the radio show and the television show. And I had decided that uh, I'd walked into my son's room and found his teacher is an English teacher. He loves to read books. Mm-hmm. He's the last kid in America reading books. Mm-hmm. And I found a lot of books on the floor. And I thought, you know, I'm going to buy a bookcase. I'm going to buy a small wooden bookcase. There are others in the room. I recalled buying bookcases before. I knew exactly what I wanted. I'd bought them at Bed Bath & Beyond before, and so I went uh, in my house. Bed Bath & Beyond sends you catalogs yes. five to eight times a day, correct? Yeah. So you always have a coupon. So I had a $5 off coupon, and I thought that these bookcases, and I, I didn't remember, it had been a while, but I thought they were somewhere between, they were small bookcases, somewhere between $30 and $50. Mm-hmm. And that's what I thought I was going to go out and spend. And so I had Nigel explain what I had you do yesterday to find me a bed bath and beyond. Well, well there's yeah, one right around the corner. Well, well, the, well, well, yeah, you told me to go on on the interweb and find the closest <laughs> bed bath and beyond, and then we found one that was right up the corner. We said, okay, that's a possibility. Well, but it's I I felt that I had to go north, and I I was going to have difficulty getting on Rockville Pike going north. Well, because you got to go south lot, and then turn go around. South to go north. It's it's Way. Uh, I, well, I don't know the back way. The back way. Not, well, Lewis Nigel Clark, didn't yeah. know okay. the back way, right. and I don't want to have to go all the way down to PTI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I back. didn't feel that would that made any sense. So then Liz suggested that you order something from Amazon or an online type of thing. So we looked at a few of that, and then you know realized that it would have to be some assembly required, and that was probably not going to be something that you would want. Well, to not do. only that, I mean, I think D- David is with me on this. That yes. we we like to eyeball the thing. We I like, like to, s- to go look at the stuff, yeah. put my hands on it. Yeah. Yeah, right. see if it's any good. See if it's made out of real wood or it's made out of it's poster not. board yeah, or, right. exactly. or something like that. So so what I ultimately decided to do was not to go to the Bed Bath & Beyond that Ginny now says I could have accessed easily. In two minutes. I thought it would be very, very hard to go <laughs> no. there. So, I, so what I said was, because I don't like to go south to go north. I don't, I don't like Did to circumnavigate go- the globe. I, I felt I this, could. You go west, to go north. Well, I was just going to go south <laughs> and hope on, you ran into a bed, bath, and beyond. Well, I knew where there, where <laughs> one was. Yeah, there was a bed, bath, and beyond at the shopping center opposite the Maza Gallery. There's a bed, bath, right. and beyond. Yeah, and it's on the way out. So I drove to the shopping center opposite the Maza Gallery, and I mm-hmm. pulled down into the parking lot. It's very, very confusing. I Be- hate that parking lot. It's room. very yeah. confusing yeah, it's parking lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just you know you you it's it indicates to you that when you make a choice of going right or going left, you're actually crossing state lines <laughs> yes. and something terrible is going to be happening. You're going to be arrested on the Man Act. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's it's very bad. Anyway, so I recalled how to do this, and I went up and I went up into the area where the Magianos is, yeah. which yeah. also the corner bakeries yeah. up sure. in the front. And I recall there being um, an escalator down yeah. into the Bed Bath and Beyond, and there wasn't a Bed Bath and Beyond. Mm. Oh, now right. there was something called um, a, a rack. Somebody, not Iraq, not I R A Q, yeah. but some some famous places like Neiman Marcus's rack or Saks's rack. Some, Nordstrom rack. Okay, whatever it is. <laughs> And I recognized that where the Bed Bath & Beyond was, not there. wasn't there anymore. So I went into the Magianos, and I said what anybody would. Would you first stamp my parking ticket? Right, right. And second, well, I was looking for the Bed Bath & Beyond. What happened? And, and, and I was told, well, no, there's nothing here like that. Mm-hmm. I said, really? I said, okay, fine. So I said, well, I'm looking for a bookcase. What do you suggest I do? Now, I'm asking a guy who's working behind a food counter. Okay, let's, let's put this in context. What do I do? What? And, and he said, yeah, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go to the corner. You ought to go to the world market. I know a guy. Go to the world market. So I go to, so I said, well, where's the world market? And he says, go down to the Cheesecake Factory. Go, go oh, down yeah. those stairs. Go to the world market. They're oh. going to have bookcases. And it reeks of potpourri, that place. They have bookcases oh. at the world market. The world market looks like, for those of you familiar with what I'm going to say now, a half step up from Rodman's. 
And I love Rodman's. I love Rodman's. Because there's not a lot of stores anywhere <laughs> where you can find cookies from Istanbul anytime <laughs> you want them right next right next to AM radios. Yes. Yeah. There you wow. Go. <laughs> Who knew they were still making exactly. AM radios? Well, Rodman's knows. <laughs> Rodman's has a collection of schlock <laughs> from around the world. I love the store. Uh, it's all, I love it, too. It's always mob. I love it. There's a thousand people in it all the time, and there's the, the greatest <laughs> collection of foreign cookies <laughs> in the world. It's a great store. Great store. Whatever you need. And they're and all you, haggling, aren't Right, they? and you think nobody <laughs> makes this anymore. No, seriously. If you think no one makes this that item is anymore, so true. just go to Rodman's. <laughs> Uh, they small got a lot appliances. Of they got a lot of them. Everything. So World Market is sort of a half step up on Rodman's. And I asked somebody about bookcases, and she takes me back, says, we only have one left in the whole store. Well, that, no. that was discouraging. Poor little bookcase. So I go to the bookcase, and it was bigger than I wanted it to be, and it cost $200. I'm, I'm not looking for that. Yeah. I got a $5 coupon to Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> okay. So then she says, well, why don't you try a, just a, just over there, the Pottery, pottery Barn? barn. Uh-huh. Right so there. I go into the Pottery Barn, and I say, do you have bookcases? No, we don't really have any bookcases. Really? really? We don't have any. Well, that's what the woman on the ground floor, there was two <clears throat> other floors, but the woman on the ground floor, mm-hmm. so we don't have any bookcases. So now I just now I'm shrugging and I don't know what to do and I figure it's lost. The opportunity is lost and I'm cursing at the fact that I didn't go to the Bed Bath and Beyond up here on Rock Two minutes away. And I drive home and uh, Carol says to me, Well, what happened? And I said and Carol says actually Carol says, I saw it looked like you were fooling around with the Bed Bath and Beyond circulars. I said I was. I I clipped out a coupon. I didn't take I'm telling you, we have a thousand coupons from Bed Bath and Beyond, as yeah. every house does. Yeah. If you keep the catalogs, I said I didn't take the twenty percent off one item because I thought maybe you would want that. That seemed bigger, but I took the five dollar off mm-hmm. one item, figuring that my item might cost about fifty bucks, and I get five, and I could have gotten ten off if I took the twenty percent. And, and anyway, so she said, "Well, why did you do that?" And I said, "Well, I was going to go buy a bookcase from Michael's room." At the Bed Bath and Beyond, and she said, and, and she said, well, what happened? And I said, well, I went to where the Bed Bath and Beyond was, and it wasn't there anymore. And she said two very important things to this conversation. One is, we didn't get those bookcases at Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know what you're talking about. And two was. There was never a Bed Bath and Beyond there. It was a linens and things. Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, so then I said, well, all right, and things. Uh, and she said, we didn't even get the bookcases there. And I said, where did we get the bookcases? And she said, I think we got them at Hold Everything. Uh, and I said, well, where's Hold Everything? And she said, I don't know. And wherever it is, it's not there anymore. And then she came up with some other possibility of where we could have gotten the bookcases, a store I never heard of in a location I'd never heard of, and she said that's where we bought them. Was it Zabar's? I don't think it was Zabar's. So I had... The Palm? Everything. (laughs) I had everything wrong. (laughs) Everything. She said, why do you think they sell bookcases at Bed Bath & Beyond? I said, the Beyond. (laughs) This is the Beyond part. I figure they sell everything, even meat. It's beyond. Well, and they do. We looked it up online. They do have them there. And by the way, when you said I'm going to the Bed Bath and Beyond down there, I was like, oh, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly what I said the about. same thing. Yeah. You all said the same thing. Yeah. There was never one there, it apparently. Was, it was linens and things. But it was things. linens and things. But I remember linens. And I can they had visualize. All, yeah, they had all sorts you took of stuff. the Coming escalator down. down. The escalator. And they had everything there. The scent of potpourri. Yeah. Everything you. was there. Even like gumball candies. Yes. 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 Linens and things. Right. So I don't know where I got the bookcases. And now what really bothered me is I now I, I spent about, I don't know, 15 minutes in this shopping center. Mm-hmm. 15 minutes is all I spent. And I got my card stamped. And they still charged me a dollar five. And it wasn't the dollar that bothered me. It was the five. It was the five that bothered me. Five cents. And now I got 95 cents. Who carries nickels? So now I got, I got to transport 95 cents home. I'm totally infuriated. And, I, and, and I've gone to, I've done everything wrong. 
<laughs> I've done everything wrong. Does anybody know where there's a hole to everything? And I don't even know that that's... Carol said it was some other store where we bought these bookcases. There is a... I don't even there's know... A store, there's a store where the... Isn't uh, there a store called right, Bookcases no, right, or Us? No. No. The, in Tenley Town, there's a... There's a store. That's what she said. It was yeah. near the Best Buy. Yeah. What's the name of that is store? That, is that a hold everything? No. There's she a said, container store. Container That's store. It. That's what she container said. Container store. I don't know that I've ever been in the container yes. store. I've been in that Best Buy, and container I know there's store. an Ace Hardware at the bottom yes, of that There's a container mall. store in there. Right. Yeah. See, this is why we do local radio. This is local <laughs> radio. <laughs> and fascinating. People around the country don't even know. Huh? <laughs> and fascinating, oh, yeah. my dad. Well, I hope so. Here's the new copy. Ah, new copy. Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Tony. And when I'm not busy riding in my elevator, <laughs> I like to sit and stare out my windows from Window Nation. And now that winter is here, I'm excited to look out them and see all the carefree cross-country skiers go by. <laughs> that always makes me so happy. Wait a minute. Not happy. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. Furious. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but what does make me happy is to think about how much dough my Window Nation windows are saving me on my energy bills, which lets me spend money on really important things like maintenance for my elevator and a competitive salary for my elevator man, Freddy. <laughs> and since I know Window Nation windows are made with the D.C. climate in mind, I know they're doing a great job of keeping the hot air inside and keeping the cross-country skiers out. <laughs> well, that and a good snow shovel do wonders. So do like I did. Call Harley and Aaron today at one 666 6422 one Or look them up on your own personal Google machine at windownation.com. That website again, windownation.com. Here comes Tony's mailbag, got your email faxes and your notes. Here comes Tony's mailbag, gonna read some for all you folks. From Kimberly Hay, I've been listening to your podcast and have to write to thank you for letting me know that Rodman's is still in business and that Linens and Things is out of business. <coughs> I don't know that I said they were out of business, they were out of where they were. In case you were interested, Montgomery Ward's, Heckinger's, and Dart Drugs are also closed. <laughs> thank you. From Eric Cole in Spring Valley, Illinois, thanks so much for the shopping tips. Next time I'm in Washington to see something like the White House or the Lincoln Memorial, I now know there's no linens and things at the bottom of the escalator. I also know there may or may not be a hold everything near the Best Buy. Information for life. Steve in Wichita, Tony, if you need a bookcase, do what I do. Just go to Bookcase Nation and tell them Steve in Wichita <laughs> sent you. Mike Dempsey in Ames, Iowa. I love this one. Joseph A. Bookcase... <laughs> Has a one day only buy one bookcase, get one free this Saturday. Where do you want, what do you want me to buy? Uh, the container store has these wooden ones that uh, are about uh, four feet, five feet high. They, they fold on the side and the shelves go up so they're easy to transport. And then you set them up, they're quite nice. And you say they look plasticky. I'm worried. Okay. So no, they have wood there. They have wood there. I want real wood. Vinnie Williams or Vinay Williams in Barstow, California. Mr. Tony, loyal podcaster, just heard your low on emails. For the mailbag, hope this helps. I'll hang up and listen off air. From Les in Ohio, I see that the animal revolution has made it from Ohio to D.C. Is it safe to assume that one of the scorecards hanging in your elevator will have the following acronym? Biprofuz. Ball in pocket running from wild zebra. Uh, DJ Wagner, Fort Wayne, Indiana. As an aspiring entrepreneur, your description of your escapades yesterday has inspired me to pursue the ownership of a new mall located retail establishment named Dread Wrath and Beyond. I foresee it as a one-part in information center, one-part drinking establishment. Designed as a meeting place for older gentlemen who are, one, lost, two, looking for stores that never existed, three, looking for items that never existed in stores that never existed, and four, looking to complain to their peers that they can't find a damn thing anymore. Obviously, by offering the comfort of a central meeting place, crusty old guys could expand to a whole new level. If you're out on your bike tonight, everyone, as always... Do wear white. I am pointing a gub. No, that's gun. That's G-U-N. That's gun. I am pointing a gun at you. G-U-B. No, no. It looks like a B, but it's an N.